Hey guys, you're here for the damage buff nobody knows about. I noticed that a character with no artifact was doing way less damage than a character with a maxed artifact, so I wanted to figure out why. We were both 1110 power, both had an 1100 Tommy's matchbook. It took 12 shots to kill a vandal doing 496 damage each. This character had plus 1 power on his artifact. The second character did 588 damage on the same Vandal and killed him in 10 shots. That character had plus 26 on his artifact. This seems wrong. We had the same overall power, the same power on the gun, yet huge difference in damage. It looks like the artifact increases your max damage in some cases. Something else strange is that by increasing my overall power level, I was doing the same amount of damage to the Vandal so overall power didn't matter for me. And these results were the same inside the lowest difficulty of Nightfall in a darkness zone. The only thing that increased my damage was my artifact power. At plus 25, I did 223 damage with Tommy's matchbook. At plus 26 artifact, I did 224 damage. That's an increase of one damage. I tested a 1330 sniper rifle, it did the same damage at plus 25 and plus 26 artifact power. Either it only affects primary weapons, or the more likely conclusion is that artifact power is applied directly to your weapon's power. After infusing up my Tommy's matchbook, I did 100 more damage. So a higher power weapon increased its damage, but my overall power level did not. Lastly, my artifact power increased the weapon damage. There are damage caps for what can be done to enemies. From what I'm seeing, I think that your artifact power will boost your weapon's power up to the max damage for the activity's power level. If this is correct, what about doing an activity above your power, like Day 1 Raid or Grandmaster Nightfall? You might see half a percent to 0.7% increase in weapon damage for each artifact power you gain, regardless of your overall power level. And maybe the raid would be fine because of contest mode. This might only work in certain activities. Also, if your weapon's power is way higher than the recommended power, I don't think you would see any increase in damage. I could be wrong. Feel free to do your own tests on this and let me know what you come up with. Now for free emblems. You might notice some 9-digit codes. I'm going to start putting some emblem codes into videos. What I mean by that is that when you click on one of my videos, there will be hidden emblems. Or if I add one in a comment, it could be shortly after a video is posted. Hopefully, I'll keep this up until Witch Queen. I've done this before, so some people have an idea of what I mean. Bungie has 9 letter codes that can be put into bungie.net slash redeem. When you do, an emblem will appear in your collections. The emblems included will be ones from the last giveaway, and some Anopanthera Tigress emblems. All you need to do is be signed into bungie.net, and ready to put codes in. When a video drops, be the first to put a code in. I will be hiding them in different places so it's like a scavenger hunt, even the video description. You may have the emblem already, and if so, you can't redeem it. This should give people a better chance as more emblems are released. Likely, this will tick people off after a while because they aren't fast enough. I might do a Gleam giveaway for those people. Just try to have fun with it. It takes a lot of effort on my part, so be respectful. If you claim an emblem, please let me know in the comments for people that think this is fake. Cheese forever, Guardian.